What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and uh, today I'll be showing you how to convert a UTM coordinates into decimal degrees. So right away, just going to open uh, the folder that contains my data and I uh, have my data in a uh, Excel worksheet, this right here. And as you can see it's in a UTM coordinate system. So and it's also in a uh, ArcGIS UTM. 1960 is on the south so it's uh, good to understand your data before you uh, begin processing in, uh, in the ACMAP uh, environment so uh, the first thing you need to do uh, is to convert uh, this data into comma separated value that is CSV uh, because uh, uh, it's the format that uh, ACMAP understands or we can convert it into tab delimited that is a txt so uh, the file I do just uh, close it down and uh, in this same uh, folder I'm just going to create three folders uh, and I'll tell you later why just uh, right click and uh, click new folder then Points. Yeah. And I just create another folder. Name it. So, and uh, the last one, just name it so now I set we have everything in uh, a folder data and I don't worry I'll be sharing with you guys uh, uh, this sample data just uh, close it down and then uh, open ACMAP just give it some time I'll first show you the long way of doing of converting the points uh, into the decimal degrees and then uh, we'll now look at the short uh, method so the first thing you need to do is to just minimize this first thing you need to do is to save this data into csv just open it and uh, under files right here just click on it and i choose save us i'm going to save it in the same same folder and, uh, they're going to leave the file name as it is but you can name it uh, anything you want then uh, under save as type just click on it to expand and choose uh, CSV that's a uh, comma separated values and make sure that it is comma delimited because you have other f uh, uh, forms of uh, CSV uh, what we're dealing with is comma delimited so just choose it and click save and uh, we're going to it's a best practice to close down the data Never you want to open it in a, another program, so just close it. And uh, open our ACMAP. Then we're going to add the CSV data. And we say this in D. Uh, D. Then uh, this data folder. And it's a CSV. So I told you guys uh, my data is in a... Uh, uh, UTM coordinate system and it's in uh, ARC 1960 uh, UTM zone 37 south so uh, as you can see I've added the, the data but uh, nothing has been displayed it's because uh, I've not told the ACMA program to display it so uh, on your left hand side you'll see this table of contents and uh, under this uh, coordinates csv uh, 
uh, data just right click on it and choose display xy data because uh, our data is called in a system and it's in a xy data so just click on it and uh, we're going to tell the ACMA program uh, the x field the y field the z field if you have so the x field is normally the easting the y field is normally the nothing uh, so under x field make sure that is uh, easting is selected and uh, under nothing just click on here and choose nothing and i told you uh, my coordinate system is utm and uh, it's arc 1960 uh, zone 37 south just uh, click edit this uh, little back button here and uh, utm is actually in a projected coordinate system and i'm going to choose UTM and because my data I collected in Kenya and that's Africa I'm going to expand and look for ARC 1960 UTM zone that seven. click on it and I click OK then click OK once again uh, click OK to everything so now we have our data you can choose to label our data just right click on it and uh, choose label so we have this actually the values of uh, uh, the points that I picked uh, so uh, another thing you need to do is to convert uh, this data into into a uh, shape file as you can see now the data is still in dot csv so now uh, in order to uh, convert it into shape file just uh, uh, under this dot uh, csv but the points the event points now you're going to right click make sure that uh, uh, click not left click but uh, actually giving me some problem but it's okay right click then choose data then export now make sure that use the same coordinate system as this layer and uh, this layer actually is in a utm zone the seven south that is utm that's and that's why you're going to stick to as the if it's the way it is if we if you choose a data frame uh automatically data frame will choose the will adopt the only system that will you have defined in your data so just leave it leave uh, this layer source data uh, checked but now you're going to choose where you're going to store the data and remember the three layer the three coordinates three coordinates that you, uh the three folders that i created one of them was uh, in UTM and that's where I'm going to store this uh, shape file just click on it and I saw it was in desktop and a data folder and uh, points in UTM now I'm going to give my points a name this point UTM and make sure that uh, by default it will show file and personal uh, geodatabase features class feature classes so make sure that you select shape file and click save and uh, click ok do you want to add the data yes now we have our shape file now we do not need all this uh other, this other layer so just right click Uh, right click on it and remove and now we have our data uh, label features now our data is in utm and if you want to confirm just uh, right click on it open properties and under source tab you'll be able to see 
This project recording system is ARC 1960 UTM Zone 37. Now, just close it down. Uh, we want to project our data into WGS 1984. The in WGS projected WGS 1984. Uh, those are two different coding system. They are same, but uh, one is in the UTM, but uh, uh, WGS 1984 projected and. Uh, Another one is uh, in geographic geographic coordinate system. Uh, still, uh, WGS nineteen eighty four. So we're going to project the this data into. First of all, you have to project it to WGS nineteen eighty four. Now just click uh, this uh, act toolbox and uh, choose uh, expand this data management tool. And choose uh, projections and transformations expand now double click on project uh, our data you can just drag and drop the input field well, but uh, that may normally take some time now the output data set where are we going to uh, uh, to our, our data, the projected data. Just just going to choose the WGS. Now this uh, create this uh, folder points in WGS 1984. This one here, I'm going to give it a name. Click save and the output coordinate system. Uh, the coordinate system that we want to assign to these points, and the coordinate system that we want to project these points to. So, just uh, the output coordinate system, click on this uh, icon right here, and we're going to choose. We said uh, WGS 1984 is a geographic coordinate system. Now, we're going to expand this geographic coordinate system. And uh, now we're going to we're going to choose the uh, geographical system. We're going to choose a world like so. Scroll down until you see this WGS nineteen eighty four. Click OK. And click OK again. We want to confirm if the process is uh, taking place. Let's click geoprocessing and click results and you can see expand this current session. You can see this white icon. Let one. Uh, so it's uh, the process complete. So you can see uh, I successfully completed because you have this green check. Just close that. Now not going you are going to be able to open this data, the data that we have just projected uh, simply because uh, it's uh, quite difficult to uh, put uh, data uh, that have different coordinate system. So uh, you're not going to do that. Now, uh, we're going to, again to project our data into WGS projected WGS. So, uh, what we're going to do again, we're going to project this time around. We're going to use this search uh, button. Just type in project. Uh, hit enter. And the project that you want is found in the data management tool. So, just uh, click on that link. And uh, this drop down just choose points to points to TM. and you can see ArcGIS is, is intelligent enough to uh, detect the current uh, coordinate system. Now uh, the output we're going to choose desktop data 
going to choose utm wgs 84 click on it i'm going to give it a name Click save. Uh, I'm going to choose projected. They're going to choose UTM. But this time round, we're not going to choose Africa, but we're going to choose uh, WGS 1984. Expand. And uh, I told you it's in a zone 37 south. So uh, automatically it's in a southern hemisphere expand southern hemisphere and uh, scroll down until you find at seven now we have wgs 1984 gems on that seven click it and click ok click ok again you can see uh, the process ongoing it is successful because uh, you have this uh, green green check now you are done with the converting this uh, data. We're going to open uh, a new project. Now we are going to, first of all, we are going to go the long way converting decimal degrees, uh, UTM to decimal degrees. Uh, so we are going to add the data that we projected in uh, we're going to choose the projected uh, UTM WGS 1984 uh, so if you want to add the data just click add uh, it's in uh, this uh, data folder choose points this uh, projected UTM so add now uh, if you want to uh, check the coordinate system just right click on that and uh, under source tab we now, we be, we now able to see our projected coordinate system is WGS 1984 UTM zone 37 south okay click ok uh, we're going to open the uh, attribute table we are going to add two fields that's for x coordinate system coordinate and uh, y coordinate so in order to add another field uh, in this table options just click that uh, side this little icon here and uh, select add field the name of the field is going to be x under the data type uh, this is just simply the data type and because a coordinates, is, a coordinates uh, contains decimal now we're going to choose double for those who have dealt with python programming language stand this so just choose double the data type and click ok uh, add another field for y Coordinates and I add again just to type in y and again data type is going to be double click ok now this header x uh, header like so just click on it right click and choose calculate field, calculate field uh, calculate geometry that is let me repeat just this head, uh, x header right click right click and uh, select calculate geometry click yes now uh, the field the coordinate that we want to calculate is x coordinate uh, and we, we're using a uh, coordinate system of the data source that is wgs 1984 utm zone 37 south uh, units going to change this click on it to expand and choose decimal degrees click ok 
uh, just click yes. Now we have our uh, X or East teams. And, uh, so on the latitude, just right click again. I it's going to repeat the same process for Y values. Right click, choose properties. And make sure that you right click on the header. This uh, Y title, click properties. Uh, not properties, sorry. Right click again. Uh, I don't know if my app map is... Uh, Hanging and then choose calculate geometry. Click yes. Uh, this time around, we are calculating y coordinate and I uh, select decimal degrees. Click OK. Click yes. And now we have our y coordinates. So uh, that's it for step one. Uh, the first uh step which is uh, the long process now uh we need to close this and open now just minimize that now you're going to open another going to open another project just right click and open a new arc map now I'm going to show you the shortest method. Uh, add the data that you project into WGS uh, coordinates system. That's uh, it's in, in here. And choose WGS. The one that you selected, the geographic coordinate system, just add. And uh, can right click the the, the layer. Uh, okay, right click open properties. And uh, as you can see, it's a uh, GS GCS WGS nineteen eighty four. Nothing like uh, UTM projected or anything like that. It's just WGS nineteen eighty four. So just click OK and uh, click uh, choose this app toolbox. Open it and uh, under data management tool, we're going to select these features. Select features like so. Expand. Click on this plus icon to expand. And uh, you're going to add XY coordinates. Just double click and uh, we're going to add our layer that's points WGS 1984 and click OK. And just taking quite, just give it a minute or two, depending on the speed of your computer. You can close the act toolbox and the process is complete and it is successful. You can see the green check. So if you open our attribute table, you see uh, that we have uh, some two fields added. Okay, uh, just right click again, open attribute table. Now we have, uh, we have two fields, that's uh, point X and point Y, that's uh, the x uh, coordinates and the y coordinates. Now, how do you uh, export this table? Uh, it's quite simple. You can choose to export. There's two methods that you can used to export this uh, data uh, uh, 
I just choose to export. Just click this uh, table option right here and uh, select export. Uh, now going to are we going to export this uh, table to just click on that going to choose the db dbase table click that and uh, give it a name uh, small degrees and uh, click save click ok now just close down everything and open now we have okay sorry I'd forgotten where I spotted the points to Uh, in UTM points in UTM now what we need to do uh, just open uh, Excel open then file open um, browse the file type scroll then choose dbase file uh, our file is in a d desktop data it's in here this point dd just add now we need to do some cleaning. Uh, do not need these two. Uh, so it's going to delete. Uh, the columns and I'm going to save this file as I'm going to save it okay. and I'm going to save it as a as an Excel worksheet so just I'll just maintain the file name click save now this is a uh, So just select everything. So now, guys, uh, we have our points in uh, decimal degrees. That's uh, how we can export also the data, our, our points into Excel. So that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please, if you are new to uh, this channel, uh, consider subscribing. Uh, click the notification bell so that whenever I upload a uh, this will be among the first people to be notified see you in the next uh, video